So guys, it's been a good couple of weeks since we last saw a Model 3 prototype driving around, but over the past few days, a few have just popped up with some really big upgrades to the camera configurations likely in anticipation for the Hardware 5 upgrade. Now these cameras here are going to be the same ones on the CyberCab that will enable it to drive fully on its own and be added to the RoboTaxi network. This is going to be the end game upgrade for full autonomy. Over the past few months, we have seen multiple new sightings of Model 3s driving around the streets of California around the Fremont factory where the company does the majority of their vehicle testings. These vehicles have distinct traits not commonly seen on roads they're often covered and equipped with specialized cameras and sensors. Spotted by a user on X that goes by Edward, a new Model 3 was spotted just outside of Palo Alto, revealing a similar car covered up again in a black fabric and camouflage wrap underneath, the exact same double layer method that has been used over many years to hide major exterior upgrades later in the development stages. Now comparing this vehicle to the ones that we have seen in prior weeks, we can say that there is definitely something Tesla is working on as this late stage in the game as the Model 3 is nearing its second year mark. There shouldn't be any reasons to see a Model 3 being covered up unless there is something entirely new to hide. Going back a few months, images surfaced of what appears to be different variants of Model 3s being tested on US roads prior to the camera retrofit. These vehicles seem to be Highland models imported from China featuring exclusive upgrades including softer suspension, a longer wheelbase, and increased interior legroom. All of this appears to be part of a broader Model 3 update planned alongside the rollout of Hardware 5 cameras later this year. Now, to cut to the chase, there is no doubt that they are planning to upgrade the Model 3. This is going to be the very first car over the past few months that have rolled off the line that did not include the very important part of hardware. That piece is going to be the front bumper camera that is going to drive the entire autonomy system and that special piece there is a reason why it needs to be added as quickly as possible and I will explain why. Just earlier this week, a user on X that goes by Tesla Copilot shared images of what he captured during a highway drive in Minnesota. A Tesla engineering vehicle was spotted likely testing sensor configurations and placements for the upcoming CyberCab expected to become standard across all Hardware 5 equipped vehicles. With road testing activity wrapping up ahead of the RoboTaxi event, it appears Tesla may be training its next generation models using one vehicle type and applying the data to another vehicle. Now one key addition to all this and the very important one is the front bumper camera which is now standard across all models. This is a significant importance to the system's capabilities enabling to join the robo taxi network and support fully unsupervised full self driving. Each camera setup requires precise calibration based on the vehicle's dimensions and since the Model 3 closely matches the size of both the CyberCab and the Model Y is likely being used as the primary platform for data training. Although it hasn't been confirmed to be added to the full self-driving system just yet, it does add a layer of redundancy. If the windshield cameras are blinded by direct sunlight, the system can rely on the bumper camera to maintain autonomous operations. Even on the current full self-driving supervised version 13.2.8, there are cases where intense sunlight affects all of the windshield mounted cameras all at the same time. And while this is rare, certain conditions such as heavy rain or intense glare can still cause all cameras in housing to lose complete visibility. In contrast, it would be near impossible for both the bumper and the windshield cameras to be simultaneously blinded by any of these external factors adding a very critical component to the redundancy system. Tesla Copilot confirmed while driving past the vehicle that there is indeed a front bumper camera tucked within the grille around the same position as all of the other models. In addition, Tesla appears to be actively refining the front windshield camera array, both running the existing and an updated version in parallel, evaluating improvements to the new sensor placement. In an early sighting this month shared by a Reddit user, showed a white Model 3 parked at a supercharger. The vehicle featured a typical setup used by the CyberCab testing in disguise, but also included a completely new component positioned just adjacent to the current Hardware 4 front camera housing. And given that on Hardware 4, one of the three sensors is a dummy, leaving only two active cameras, this updated housing could effectively double the number of active front cameras if this is confirmed. The housing itself appears to feature a fully open design with minimal or no borders, allowing significantly more light to reach the sensors 
This could result in a clear image and improved viewing angles for each camera. Tesla Copilot has also managed to capture some interior photos of the vehicle while driving by, which revealed the main display showing various component checks commonly used by engineering during road testing. Chuck Cook noted that in earlier days, ADAS drivers used a similar screen to mark their hard drive video captures annotations that are later used by the Tesla AI team as a direct feedback for the training and evaluation. Going back to the images, one key detail that really stood out was the object that was held in the driver's hand which led the community to speculate that the vehicle may be operating in unsupervised FSD mode. Some suggested that this could be a dead man switch designed to ensure the vehicle continues to drive autonomously until it reaches its destination but initiate an emergency stop if the trigger is released due to an unexpected event. Alright guys, so much things are happening over such a small period of time. There's definitely a new Model 3 that's being upgraded in the coming months and there's going to be a very big upgrade to the Hardware 5 system that all of us have been anticipating to come with all of the latest stuff. We are going to get a much more powerful chip that can handle a lot more processing and we are going to get a better cleaning solutions and then on top of that, we're going to be getting more cameras and more sensors. All of this is going to make the perfect package to end the entire autonomy system and that is going to be making its way to the rest of the lineup probably starting with the model 3 now that is up for an update now what this obviously means is that if you are willing to wait and you're prepared to pick up a car sometime later this year this is the car that you really want to get the front bumper camera is obviously going to be added seeing that the rest of the lineup has the bumper camera although this doesn't guarantee that you're going to have hardware 5 you have to wait a little bit longer for that, maybe by the start of next year. That's when it was said to arrive. But regardless of whatever the timeline is, we know that this is going to be one of the biggest upgrades ever. And seeing that this upgrade is the one that really drastically changes the whole autonomy system, it's like going from hardware one to hardware three. That is going to be even a bigger leap going now from hardware four to hardware five. You really want to wait out for this if you're really wanting your car to completely drive on its own and it's going to need all the things that we have mentioned. Now the latest sighting that indicated we might be getting a new front windshield camera housing. Hopefully that does come true. They really need to get rid of that dummy camera. I feel like that part is an afterthought and now that they're upgrading to hardware 5, they're finally going to remove it add in the additional real camera or even add in an additional camera making it four sensors right up top there then a sensor right at the bottom for redundancy there's so much just at this front end alone that's really going to drive the whole system all of this of course is really crucial in the whole robo taxi network the autonomy and the redundancy system so this is going to be a big one that you're hopefully going to want to wait for. I will be continuing to keep my eyes peeled out for anything that comes up over the next few days, the next few weeks, all the way up until the RoboTaxi launch. I will update you guys as quickly as possible on all of that as soon as it comes out. So I would love it if you guys stick around, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on X at hey John E. Over there, you guys will see things you wouldn't see here. And you can chat with me anytime. I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. This is John. Once again, peace out.